Welcome back to Tabletop Assault. I'm David. I'm Ross. And today we're bringing you 1500 point battle report. Uh, I'm not playing really well, so I'm quite happy to be back in the swing of things. Mm. Uh, I've been unwell as well this week, so I'm wrapping up getting cosy and warm. Fair enough. So uh, I'm going to be playing my Space Wolves with a few new additions. Okay, and I'll be using Red Corsair's Chaos Space Moons. So what we're playing today is Deadlock Maelstrom of War. How that works is that we've got tactical objectives and we've got all the markers out and everything. We draw six objective cards at the beginning of our turn, turn one. On turn two, we can only have five in our hands, and turn three, four cards, etc., etc. So it's very important that you want to score early so yeah. you don't end up discarding cards later on more than you can and then draw later on. Uh, other things we've got is strategic deadlock, which is basically after turn three. Any command points or any stratagems you use uh, cost double the amount of command points. Mm. So you want to use up your command points quick, early. Yeah. Usual caveats of First Blood, Slay Warlord, and uh, Behind Any Millions? Linebreaker. Linebreaker! You got there. They all apply. They all apply. Thanks, Dave. So with that, let's have a look at the forces. So at first we have 1500 points of Space Wolves being led by Ragnar Blackmane himself in a, a battalion detachment giving me 6 command points. So Ragnar is going to have this saga of the warrior born warlord trait allowing him to always fight first essentially. And he'll be kicking about with Svangir and Ulfgear, his two little wolves. Um, we also have from a second HQ choice Nyal the Stormcaller in Terminator armour. And he'll have all of the uh, Tempest disciplines, so all three of those spells which is really really cool. Um, we then also have a Sakaran battle tank with two last cannons, heavy bolter and twin accelerator auto cannon. Very keen to try this one out. Eowyn used that against me and it was painful. Let's see if I can be just as effective. We also then have um, four, sorry, yeah, four five man Grey Hunter squads, all bare bones, frag crack grenades, bolt guns, bolt pistols. Four five man squads, two of them will be kicking about in a rhino with a storm bolter, other two are going to be foot slogging it. We also then on the left there have a five man wolf guard squad. Now the wolf guard have um, three frost axes, storm shield, one frost sword, storm shield, and the pack leader has a wolf claw bolt pistol. All I could really squeeze in points wise there, uh, along with their frag and crack grenades. And they'll be kicking about in the second rhino with a storm bolter. And then lastly, I used this for the imperial fists and I had a lot of fun with it. We've now got a space wolf version. We're going to use a land raider Achilles with its quad launcher and uh, two twin multi melters. So yeah guys, let's crack on and take a look at what Ross has brought for the Red Corsairs. We've got here our 1500 points of Red Corsairs. Uh, I'm in a battalion detachment so I'm going to have 6 command points to play with in this game. So for my HQ choices I have Huron Blackheart. Uh, his uh, ability, his psychic ability in Dark Hereticus will be Warp Time. Now he is not going to be my warlord in this game. It's going to be the Doom Prince with wings, and for his warlord train it's going to be Flames of Spite. For his Dark Hereticus ability it will be uh, Demolic Strength, and he is armed with two sets of Malefic Talons. He does have wings as well. For troops I have three units of cultists, each of them ten man squads, all of them armed with auto guns. I have a unit of possessed, there's eight in the squad. Reason being is they'll probably be in the Rhino, along with Huron and his Hamadra. I have two Hellbrutes, both armed with multi melters and Hellbrute Fists. I then also have, uh, in Heavy Sports, I have one unit of Obliterators, a second unit of Obliterators, and a Mauler Fiend with Mauler Fiend Fists and Lasher Tendrils. From Dedicated Transport, I have a Chaos Rhino with Combi Bolter. For Marks of Chaos and things, uh, basically the Demon Prince will have Mark of Nurgle, the Possessed will have Mark of Nurgle. Pretty much everything I'm going to give Mark of Nurgle to, uh, except for the ones that can't have it, which I believe is Huron. Yep, so that is my 1500 points of Red Corsairs. So this is the board we're playing on today. Uh, we brought our industrial kind of terrain set along with our Blasted Lands map. Um, we're playing Spearhead Assault. So that is length to length, with uh, an 18 inch gap in the middle. Um, so, probably good for Ross actually, because Red Corsairs want to get up quickly and advance and charge, so sweet. We have six objective markers, so where are the objective markers? We have 
Uh, Ross gave it to number one. Number one's over there. Oh, so it is. Number one is there. The skulls are number ones, round six. I find that strange, but yeah, that's uh, number one. Number two is down here. Number three is on the opposite end, over here. Four, down on this end. Uh, five is up here. And then six is also up here. They're very spread out, which is quite good. Um, but yeah, let's go on to our deployment and we will catch up with who finished deploying first in a second. So Space Wheels finished deploying first. Um, we have my Rhino with uh, two five man Grey Hunter squads here. My Sakaran battle tank. In this building we have, I know it's really hard to see guys, but we have one unit, two units of Grey Hunters in their two five man squads. Nyal Stormcaller kicking about. The Land Raider Achilles with uh, my Warlord Ragnar Blackmane and his two little wolves, I think it's Svangir and Ulfgear, something like that, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then lastly we have a Rhino over here with my five wolf guard. Um, so yeah, that's my battle line's very defensive posture from the Space Wolves. Let's take a look at Red Corsairs. Red Corsairs deployment, uh, pretty simple. As you can see I've got a big soft front line uh, assault for myself. I have in there, I have a Rhino with Huron and the Possessed. Then backing him up we've got two Hellbrutes, a Demon Prince and a Mollerfiend. Can't tell, they're just going to really try and charge up the field and start causing carnage. In the backfield though, I have a unit of Chaos Cultists on this uh, landing platform. Chaos Cultists behind here and a unit of Chaos Cultists behind here as well. If you can't tell, they're trying to hide it line of sight and get no near, it near those objectives. I've also got two units of Blair Rayers uh, waiting to deep strike. So with that, you've seen the deployments. Who's going to go first, David? Now you get, get plus one to this dice roll. Uh, you roll it first? I'll roll first. Okay. What'd I get? A two. Hmm. You got a two. Not helpful. So I need a two plus to get first turn. Yeah, I really hate twos. Get a one. That's not a one. Would you like to seize? I would love to see, seize David's. So, show me a six. Oh! So close. <laughs> So yeah, let's go into Space Wolves, turn one. So I'm all wrapped up because I'm kind of got the cold as I mentioned earlier there. So sorry guys, but uh, yeah, so we're going to crack on with my turn. Um, if Ross shows you the board here, I've set up this way for first turn. I want to get my shots off at Ross and soften him up because he does have a very scary Demon Prince and a lot of units in front of him. I need to remove those so I can start dealing with the Demon Prince because I don't think I can deal with him in combat. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be keeping most of my units where they are, but let's go and take a look at my six tactical objectives. So I've just finished drawing my six tactical objective cards. Now remember guys, each battle round you can only have one less in your hand. So you want to start scoring these quickly and I think I got probably one of the best draws I've ever got. I think Ross would agree. Uh, wholeheartedly. So we got secure number five, which uh, is up here. I've got Grey Hunters just in there to get that. Supremacy, so, uh, score any three or hold any three objectives. Again, all doable. There's three right there. Overwhelming firepower, you know what that is, guys. Psychological warfare, we'll need to see how we go with that one. Secure three, again, that's over there where Nyal is. And uh, secure four, well, now that's over here. So that's the only one that's not good. But for drawing six cards and having five potentially all can be claimed, that's incredible. So I'm just going to go over the movement phase, guys, and uh, we'll catch up in a second. Finished up the movement. It's pretty obvious those Grey Hunters have moved along the gantry there. This Rhino's just moved on up again, just trying to get a bit more board control and stop some drops. Down here, these Grey Hunters, if you can see, we've just moved on under into a bit of some cover. This has stayed still, kind of. Uh, I was debating coming up and shooting some Meltas and Quad Launchers at this lob of guys, but it's really not worth it. Um, Ross will get way too close and the gap will be shortened. Um, and then lastly, this Rhino has just parked itself in there in a bit of uh, out of line of sight, but again claiming that objective. So we've at least got our supremacy, but we do have some Psychics to do with, with Nial. This will be a very short um, Psychic phase. I'm not going to do anything else except for Stormcaller, and even that in itself is probably a waste of time. Stormcaller just means all units within six inches, the space of keyword, get plus one uh, or get cover, benefit of cover. So it's six to cast. Looking forward to this miscast. Nope. Oh, David. So again, it'll probably have no impact. 
No. But everything within six inches of him until his next psychic phase, bonus uh, counts as being in cover. We're going to start off the shooting up with a lot of deliberation of what targets to go for, but the Sakaran's going to do all its shots into Ross's Mauler Fiend. Okay, okay. Um, it's one of the most efficient units in his army of opening up my vehicles. So we will start with uh, the two last cannons. Yep. So, uh, if I know, we're going to start with the accelerator cannon. Sure. So the accelerator cannon is eight shots. We will be hitting on a three plus because it remains stationary. So all but two. Nice. Um, <clears throat> in addition, if I was throwing the wounds of six here, my AP becomes minus three. So we need to bear that in mind. Mm. It's only minus one at the moment. Okay. Now it is strength seven, so it's forced to wound. You're tough in seven, aren't you? I am indeed. Yeah. <laughs> We get no sixes, but we do get four wins. Yep, so that'll bring me to, I think... It's a four up save. Four up save. Because it's just minus one. Yeah. So four ups. Okay. So that's six damage already. Oh my goodness. That's um, not good. Uh, we've got the two last cannons. Uh oh. So I'm going to command point that. So yeah, I get six. Time. So we get two hits. Mm -hmm. That'll be threes to wound. For one wound, mm -hmm. uh, straight to your 5 up invul. 5 up team save. Nailed it. You do. And then the three heavy bolter shots. They all hit. Fives to wound, I'd like that again. We get nothing. So just six wounds off of the Muller Fiend. Five bolt gun shots onto the Muller Fiend. We just want to put Nick off another wound because he'll regenerate one back up next turn, bringing him back to more efficient. So if I can get one more wind off, it's a harder time. Good plan. So hitting on threes. Not a good plan. Not a good time. But although if I get that roll again, that'd be nice. So fives to wind. For one wind. Surely I can pass this one save. I really could use it. It's cocked. It was a two. There you go. He is fine. And last to shoot with my Land Raider Achilles. Uh, again, I don't have anything else really ranged yet, but Land Raider Achilles quad launcher will use his Thunderfire shells. No line of sight, 60 inches, 4d3 shots, strength 5, AP dash, minus 1. We're obviously going to go for one of these two cultish units. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this one's way out of the game, far back here. I can see them. These guys. These guys? So 4d3 shots. For uh, 6, 7, 8. So not good. Hitting on threes. So they all hit. That was good. Uh, winding on threes because I'm strength five. I think you're killing on threes. No, you've got a six up armor save. It's AP oh, dash. Oh, it's AP dash. Cool. Okay, so six wins. AP cool. dash. <coughs> now, I haven't rolled six sixes in a long time, so... Uh, no. <laughs> six dead cultists. So at the end of David's turn, uh, I've got a morale check to make for these cultists. I can't pass it, so I could spend two command points to save cultists and deny David a victory point, but I'm not gonna do that, because two command points is not worth that. So let's see how many flee. All of them. That's, the unit. that's uh, first blood, David. So that's the end of Space Wolf's turn one. It was a mixed bag, shooting was quite poor, but we managed to nick first blood, giving us one victory point. We also got secure three and five, which is on the gantry, and with the Sakaran and Yal. So that's another two points, bringing me score three to zero. We did get psychological warfare by getting rid of the cultist, so that brings it four to zero. And um, we did get supremacy as I hold three objectives. So that's for D3 points, let's have a look. Okay. Yes. Ooh. So that brings the score 7 to 0. 7 points in one turn. Nice, David. Uh, and I'm going to discard secure 4. Let's move on to Red Corsairs. So we just finished up what a pretty good turn for David there. Uh, great amount of victory points uh, scored in turn 1. Well done. Uh, it's going to be a very simple turn for me, I just need to get myself moving forward as much as possible and really gear myself so for sort of turn two. Yeah. Uh, I think <clears throat> that's where I'm going to do the most damage and hopefully start shutting David down. With that, let's have a look at the cards I draw turn one. 
So I've drawn my tactical objectives for this turn. Uh, my first one is advanced. So I basically I'll move all my units out of my deployment zone. A lot of my units don't want to be in my deployment zone, but one kind of does. So oh, I don't think that's going to happen. Defend objective marker 2, which goes against advance because I've got objective marker 2 with those cultists. Mm -hmm. That means I give up advance. I think I'm going to be okay with that though. Defend objective marker 5, well David would love that card, uh, it's <laughs> not going to happen. No prisoners, score one victory point if uh, I destroy an enemy unit. Yeah, I don't see <laughs> happening this turn. Uh, potential though. Potential, I'm definitely going to destroy something in this game. Mm -hmm. I then got priority orders received, which is basically I draw a new objective card and my warlord has to be the one that scores it. <laughs> and boy did I get domination. Uh, so that means I've got to control every single objective marker. I've never achieved that without Dark Elder and I don't see it happening today. Yeah. And the last one is Witch Hunter, which uh, I could go for now if I could target them, which I can. Oh man, uh, not helpful. Could pull it opposite. Draws. Yeah. So I finished up my movement. My Mauler Fiend has moved forward uh, as he did generate a wound back, back to efficiency, and then advanced. Bring me in range of the Rhino, but I can't charge him this turn. Sadly, they do not have the chapter tactics for Renegades. In the more sort of side bits, I've got the Cultists in the back here. They've secured objective marker two. I need to defend it though. Cultists in the back there. I've sort of kept them still yeah. for now. Uh, and then these guys just powered on forward. My Rhino moved a massive 17 inches, which is awesome. I popped smoke on it as well, so it will not be firing. Uh, but a bit more defensive. Dean Princefold suit and also the Hellbrutes. So just marching on forward, mm -hmm. trying to get to David's lines. Going to do a quick psychic ability. I'm just going to use Smite on Dean Prince. Huron is the one with Warp Time, because I'm planning that later on. Uh, the Dean Prince has demonic strength, so I'm not going to do that. On the Green Hunters? Or Yep, so smite onto them. So we get it with 9. Uh, D3 damage. Yeah, have D you got Nial within range? 24 inches? Actually, I didn't think of that. Do you want to double check? I don't think he is, Ross. No, not no, at the moment. No, he's just out, so that's fine. Cool, so, so D3. D3 wounds. For 3 dead Grey Hunters. So I've got 2 Grey Hunters remaining. Uh, I do have a morale check to do that at the end of the turn. So on a 6, I lose another Grey Hunter. And you get to re-roll this. Yes. Reroll that. <laughs> well, I've only got the sergeant left, so cool. If only I had psychological warfare. So that's the end of Red Corsair's turn one. Not much happened, just trying to move myself into position. That's kind of it. Uh, I'm going to burn uh, my uh, priority order to receive domination because I cannot control every single objective marker in this game. I think I've got a better chance of wiping David's. And then I might control them all, but <laughs> I've won the game if I did that. So that is the end of my turn one. Let's go into Space Wolves turn two. Into Space Wolves turn two, guys. Not much else to say except for we're going to set ourselves up for probably a counter attack of some sort here. Uh, but we need to start chipping away at a Rhino and a Mother Fiend. With that, I've got new cards to show you guys. So I already had Overwhelming Firepower, and as it's battle round 2, I can now only hold 5 tactical objective cards. So I've drawn 4 more, and I got another uh, luck of the draw. So we've got Overwhelming Firepower still, no prisoners, doable. Hold the line, well I've already got a ton of units in my deployment zone, so that's that's really nice. Uh, secure 6, and secure 1. So 6 is never going to happen, but 1 I've already got with the Wolf Guard and Rhino. So yeah, let's, say let's crack on with the movement, but we've uh, got a good look at the draw there. So my Grey Hunter Sergeant, the lone guy's moved down to there, um, he's running away. These Grey Hunters have moved out to kind of cause a screen for my vehicles, and this Rhino has came all the way back because I don't want to deal with that. That mother thing's scary. So Karen stayed the same, this Rhino with Wolfguard stayed the same, however, we've disembarked Ragnar with the two wolves, so we can do a real, a real hit of one buff around here and the Achilles has moved back a bit. As you can kind of see, we're trying to, I know Ross can hear me right now, I'm trying to get a trap. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, my tactic was to charge down the neck and uh... So yeah, guys, with that, we're gonna go straight into some psychic. Just gonna activate Stormcaller again to give everything within six inches cover. Six plus the cast. Uh, we do get it because I get plus one to all of my psychic tests and denies, so that actually brings it to a six. 
And we checked last time, you were not within 24 inches of each other's psychers, so Stormcaller goes off. So my Achilles is going to open things up, we're going to shoot everything we have, including the, um, the Strength 8 shells from the Quad Launcher, into the Rhino. Now you have Pop Smoke, so I'm minus one to hit, but I do have Ragnar with giving me reroll field hits of one. I'm going to start with the four multi-melters into the Rhino. We have measured, I'm in range, but I'm not in melter range. So uh, we're looking at fours to hit, technically. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to use a command point. Nah. So we get three through. I'm threes to wound. I'm going to use a command point. So we get two wounds, it's minus four, so it's straight to d6 damage. Oh my word! How many wounds have Rhino got? Uh, it's got, I think, ten off the top of my head. Yeah, we'll see what damage we do. So we've done eleven wounds. Uh, um, it's either got a wound or it's dead, we'll just go double check. So yeah, that hurt. Uh, I've only got ten wounds, so that Rhino is gone! Uh, let's see if he explodes. Please don't explode. No. no. So let's bring out the possessed. Well, I've got to see if any of them are hurt. Let's see what happens. So yeah, my possessed and Huron have disembarked from the Rhino as it explodes into a smouldering wreck. Gonna see if any of them die though. So any ones have to remove a model from the transport. You're old none. They're all good. It's just the Rhino to go. So Karen to go next, and again he's still within range of Ragnar, benefiting the Rhino hits of one. So the Sakarin is going to split shots, the Twin Accelerator, Auto Cannon and Heavy Bolter into Ross's Possessed and the two last cannons into the Mollerfiend. Let's try and finish what we started. We're going to start with the Accelerator Cannons though, so we hit on threes, reroll ones. So we get one reroll. So all but one. Uh, this is strength seven, so it's threes to wound. Sure is. Any wounding roll of a six is minus three AP, putting the Possessed to their invul save. What have we got around there? Nothing. So we just simply get f uh, five wounds at minus one, so it's uh, four up saves. Four up saves. Uh, so it's two damage apiece, so two possessed go down, but what a roll for the involves if you had to do that. Yeah. Heavy bolter into the possessed, so hitting on three zero ones. They all hit. There we go. And then. Uh, toughness C5. Uh, toughness 4, strength 5. So 3s. So they all wind. Okay. It's just minus 1. Minus 1, so 4 plus saves. Oh. Uh, so 1 damage piece. Yep. Yep, so 1's dead and 1's down a wound. We'll just quickly do the last cannons um, and then that's into the Mauler Fiend. We have checked the line of sight this is Karen. His side can slightly see him. Yep. So 2 last cannons hitting on three zero ones. So two hits, wounding on threes. That's for one wound. I've already used my reroll, sure so it's a five up invul. Five up invul. Which you make like a champ. So I'm going to do this all in one big take. So we've got ten grey hunters here, and there's a grey hunter in there. Hard to see, but there's one in there. They're all in rapid fire range, so that's uh, twelve shots. This uh, rhino is in rapid fire range with a storm bolter, so that's another four shots. And then this Rhino is not in rapid fire range with the Storm Bolter, it's just their two shots. So 18 shots, they're all the same profile and strength, into the Possessed. Uh, so there's no re-rolls here at all, it's just straight 3 plus to hit with 18 shots. Uh, four, 4 misses, so we get um, 14 hits. And then we're f your Toughness 4 you said earlier on. Four, yep. So four. I keep thinking of Toughness 5. Uh, Ross, can you come here? That's uh, three saves. That was a horrible that was wounding roll. Horrible role. wounding roll. If I can pick off the wounded possessed, it's consolation. Three up save. Um, we get him. You can, and one's that a wound. So there's no charges to declare. It is tempted, but I want these grey hunters to be a buffer zone. Yep. So Ross, morale check to do. Yep. So possessed on five or six, I lose more. Ah, well, thank goodness I don't know one. You're okay. Right, that's the end of Space Wolves turn two there, and that was really good, really good actually. Um, we've managed to get overwhelming firepower, secure marker one with the Wolf Guard and Rhino. We've got hold the line, I've definitely got enough units in my deployment zone, and we've got no prisoners. That brings the score 11 to 0, but... I got defend objective marker two, 
Woo! So the score is now 11 to 2 for Space Wolves, and I'm going to be getting rid of marker 6, it's just not happening. So, um, yeah, Red Corsairs, turn 2. So we're on to Red Corsairs, turn two. David is steamrolling with these victory points. I've never seen him do it this well before, so yay. Uh, I have some plans this turn. I have some plans. I've taken a bit of damage, but now I'm moving into threat range. Uh, I've really just got a pile on forward. I have obliterators to come in as well, so I do have some dangerous stuff. Uh, I get to draw one card this turn because I scored one last time and discarded one. It's so one new card. Let's have a look at it. It's got my uh, cards out now. I've got some of the ones from previously. Witch Hunter, so I've got for Nyal. No prisoners. Destroy something. Defend objective marker 5. You know what? I could get it, but I really don't want it. Uh, advance. I really got to get those cultists out. Uh, and then, oh, if this was only a turn ago. Psychological Warfare. Because <laughs> I failed it. Because <laughs> you failed it. I even said at the end of the turn, oh, I've only had Psychological Warfare. Oh, brother. So yeah, that's interesting. Uh, let's do some movement. So we've got some aggressive moves from the Red Corsairs this turn. Molofiend has moved forward to advance, just trying to beat down this line, recovered another wound because he's awesome. Obliterators have dropped down. I am within, uh, out with nine inches of this Grey Hunter, which is denying me a wee bit. But it gives me a wee bit of three options, and I don't think you'll be able to charge or deny me. Cultists moving forward. I am not outside my deployment zone yet. But you know what? Next turn, uh, they're either going to be dead, which will give me the point, or they'll not be there. And then my central lines, I have uh, my Hellbrooks moving forward. Obliterators dropped the, where they could. Possessed move forward. I mean, I've got some great advance rolls. You did. And I can charge when I advance. Uh, Doom Prince backing them. Huron. Yeah, I have plans. <coughs> and it's all resolving around my psychic phase. So psychic time. Uh, I really need this to go well. We're going to start with my Demon Prince. He's going to try and cast Diabolic Strength on himself. So I need a 6. I get it uh, with an 8. Cool. So I can deny 2 with Nyal. Um, I'm not within my psychic hood range. So it's just normal deny. So I need a 9 with this. And I can deny 2. So uh, let's try and deny it. Nope, we don't get it, even with the buff if we had it. But you've got another one to cast? Yep, so this is the big one I really need to go off, and it is Warp Time from Huron. I'm going to cast it, probably on the Demon Prince. Go for it. I need this to pass so much. I think it's Warp Charge 8. Uh, I get it with 9. I could Command Point to try and be greedy, but you know what? I'm not. Okay. Definitely got it. You can deny this and you get to reroll. Yep, I need a 10 though. Yeah, I really don't want you to. So, denying with Nyal. It's stopped. Oh! Without the reroll, so no warp time oh. today. So, I'm going to start my shooting phase with this lot of obliterators targeting the Rhino here. That's my only target other than the Lone Green Grey Hunter, and I really don't want that. So, we've got to find out all their stuff. So, their strength 6 plus D3. So they are going to be eight. 8, which is nice, really need that. They're going to be AP 1, mm, okay. I do I want a command point? No, I want to see the damage. 2, I can accept that. Okay, so many last, many melters. Many melters. Uh, yep, so they are salt 4, so I'm getting <coughs> 12 shots, hitting on 3s. Ooh. Not great. Too many. It's still got a lot of hits, not but... Not bad, but not ideal. One obliterator failed to shoot, essentially. Essentially, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be three stoingy, though. You are indeed. Uh, which that one? Well, um, yeah. No, no, that's not too bad. you got yep. five through. Now, it is minus one. Yep. I'm not within Stormcaller range of Nial. I'm actually an inch out. Mm -hmm. So it's just uh, minus one, so four up saves. And this is damage two, yeah? Damage two. Uh, failed three, so I lose six wounds. I'm down to four. And these obliterators next. Uh, we're going to go for the Skern Battle Tank. Yep. Yeah, because if I can reduce its wounds, reduce its efficiency. Tragically, not within six inches of Huron because that pesky, pesky Grey Hunter denying some of my drop, that single guy. So let's find out their strength. Uh, strength six plus D3. I'm going to use Command Point because I really mm -hmm. need that to be stronger. So. 
Yep. More like it. So, so strength, nine. strength nine. Uh, AP. AP two. AP minus two, and then it's going to be how much damage piece? For two. Two. So strength nine minus two damage two. Yeah. So twelve shots. Oh, hitting on threes. Mm. Oh my word. That's really bad rolling. That was, was a fail as well. That was a fail as well. Okay. So that was I think fifty percent missed. Yeah. So threes to wound. Threes to wounds. Uh, for not great either. So it's minus two, but I am in Stormcaller range. Oh, can I get another dice? Yes, you can. Stormcaller range, so I'm actually in cover technically. Yep. So um, these four wounds, it's technically only minus one then. Yeah. Save. So up to a four up save on this cannon. It's damage two. So I ignore three, I just take two wounds. And here on last is going to uh, fire, he has a his assault flamer, so I can fire it. Gonna kill that pesky grey hunter, cause I don't like him. D6 shots. For three. three. Automatically hit. So it's going to be threes to wound you, because I'm strength five. Oh well, we'll move on. Oh man. So we're on to the charge phase, I'm going to charge my possessed into these grey hunters. Would you like to overwatch, David? Yeah, so they're in rapid fire range, obviously, so ten shots, we're hitting on sixes. We get a six. Okay, okay. Right, move them away. When they're going to four. Nothing. Uh, just roll. Yeah, 2d6. I can advance and charge. Oh, five, but guess what? Possessed it in. I'm going to do a hero next. He's needing pretty much the same as well. Just uh, a little double one, you're fine. Yeah, oh, fine. I'll move them in. I'll debate the Doom Prince. If I want to be aggressive or not, I'm going to decide in a second. So, Doom Prince is going to be aggressive. I might regret this later on as the pummel shots come back. I'm going to charge that rhino. Uh, I've got plans. Hopefully, it might work. It's an eight inch charge. Would you like to overwatch? Yeah, Stormbolter, rapid fire. Uh, no hits. No, nope, so <coughs> eight inch charge. Go for it. Uh, I'm going to command point that too. Show me a five. You Nailed made it. it. So, let's move him round as well. So I'm going to activate my Possessed first, uh, they get D3 attacks each, let's see what we get. Two attacks piece, that'll give me eight attacks. That's nice, three, should be enough. Six, eight, well I've got Huron there as well, yep. so uh, it's going to be threes to hit you, uh, rerolling ones and sixes activate Death to the False Emperor. So, get one six. One six, uh, and then I got one miss, but essentially I can reroll that two then. Hey. So eight hits in total with death of the false emperor. Nice. And I'm threes. gonna be three swinger. Nice. So that is gonna be damage AP minus one. Okay, so four up saves in. Oh, sorry, AP minus two. Minus two, so five up saves. Yep. So four grey hunters go down, just left with the sergeant. And here on, uh, I've done my consolidates with Possessed to just surround the sergeant, and I'm gonna uh, pile in Huron, so he's gonna attack next. Five attacks, I'm gonna use the Power Axe, because mm -hmm. Tyrant's Claw, Claw, knowing me, I will roll all the twos <laughs> in the world. At least this way, I hit in twos, we roll ones. Keeping it safe. So, all hit, and I get an extra two potential for overkill, Death to the False Emperor. Death to the False Emperor, indeed. Nice. I am strength five with the power axe, so I'm going to wound you in threes. Oh man, what? Should be enough though, is it minus? It's a minus a two, so five up saves. Five up saves. Fail one. He is dead, I failed one. Oh, Just. So Demon Prince uh, wants to get something, and I think he's going to overkill this quite significantly. Yeah. Four attacks normally, I have Malefic Talons, give me a further three, bring me to seven. I have Diabolic Strength, so I'm up to eight attacks. Uh, yep, and I'm Strength nine. So, yep. I'm going to be hitting twos, re-rolling ones. Uh, Reroll those ones, and no death to the False Emperor. Don't need it. Yep, so they all hit. Uh, threes to wound. Threes to wound. Oh. I actually don't really want to destroy him, but... Yep, so that's loads of wins. Minus. Minus. Uh, Malefic Talents, minus 2 AP. So 5 up saves, but they're all damage. Damage 2 apiece. So uh, I need to make 3 saves. No, I need to make 4 saves. Well, I made 3, oh, but I um, that's enough to kill the Rhino. Do I see if explode? I really don't want you to explode. 
Oh! I explode, so we'll work out that in a second. No! <laughs> So, trash days have happened. That explosion is going to cost me more than I can imagine. It's six inches, everything suffers D3 more wind. So, Scarn, yes! But Demon Prince, Huron, and Possessed all mm -hmm. suffer D3 mortal wounds. Mistakes were made. Yeah. I went for aggressive, and I shouldn't have. We did check the wording. The 10 Grey Hunters inside don't get affected yeah, by this. They've got their own explosion to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is arguably not as bad. Yeah. So, do you want to roll for this Karen? I would love to. He takes two wins, so he's oh. down to 10. Love it. Uh, let's do the Demon Prince. He takes two mortal wounds. Yeah, he's down to, I think, about. I think he's got eight normally, so six. Yep. Uh, and then on Huron. Below. It's cocked. Below. So that's three mortal wounds. Yeah, I'll um, take the Hamadra and I'll put two on Huron. And then the Possessed. Uh, so that's that guy dead and one down to one wound. Now let's get the guys in the rhino ready. So we've just resolved all the mortal wounds. I've now got my ten. It was two five man Grey Hunter squad, so ten rolls. If I roll any ones, a guy dies. Uh, so I lose two Grey Hunters. I'm just going to bring one squad down to... No, I'll remove one from, I'll remove one from each so there's no morale. So not gonna lie, mistakes were made in that round. Uh, I think my bloodlust to kill <laughs> something, kill that rhino, uh, but moved my demon prince into a precarious position. Not ideal. I did score a point, uh, I got no prisoners. If I'd killed that grey hunter with Huron's flamer, I would have got D3, but those triple ones Wow. Uh, so yeah, I got one victory point, bringing me to three, and I'm going to burn Defend Objective Marker 5. I don't want to go back. So yeah, it's, I believe, 11 victory points to David, to my three, as we go into Space Wolves' devastating turn three. So that's the uh, battle round three beginning. Now for battle round three, we did mention in the uh, pre-game chat there that all command points are now doubled in cost. So if I want to use a reroll, it's going to cost me two command points. But we both have four each, I think, left at the moment. Yep. Um, much of the same, guys. We'll try and kill off priority targets. But let's crack on and see my new cards. So my four new cards, I've got defend four and defend three. So four is here, not happening. Defend 3, however, I think I can pretty much consolidate around that, keep that in mind. Uh, we did also get Area Denial, uh, nope. And Big Game Hunter, the only unit on the board that I can kill that will achieve that is Ross's Molar Fiend. Um, so we need to really focus fire on that. But with that guys, I'm going to crack on with some movement. So the Space Wolves have finally sprung a counter attack here. So first and foremost, this lonely and heroic Grey Hunter Advanced, he rolled a 6, so he moved 12 inches from the building to roadblock the Mauler Fiend, just in case I don't kill it. Over here, however, though, everything is pretty much wrapped on around the Demon Prince possessed in Huron. Um, so Karen stayed still, Grey Hunters are wrapping around, the Wolves of Ragnar have moved on up, um, Njal's consolidated around Objective 3, Wolf Guard have dropped on out and the Rhinos moved up as a roadblock and the Achilles has moved up as well. So we're pretty much trying to close in and kill the Demon Prince and Huron. But with that we've got some psychic to do with Nial. It's uh, time to move on. So Stormcaller is going to activate Tempest Wrath on uh, the Demon Prince. I know I manifest it first then pick a target but it's always going to be on that Demon Prince. Essentially it causes the Demon Prince minus one to hit. Okay, okay. So it's a value of six and I get plus one to this. Uh, so we get it with a 9. Do you want to try and deny? I'll try and deny with the Doom Prince. Need a 10. Go! No. Okay, so Tempest Wrath is off. But this is the big one. Yep. We're going to go with Jars of the World Wolf, which is, I believe it's, is it 7 to cast? Oh, sorry, I was two seconds here, guys. It's 7 to cast. This issue should be a lot higher. Uh, basically on... Now we did check, even though Huron's not the closest, it looks like that's only for the shooting phase. It is only for the shooting phase. So he's going to be targeted and it will be a characteristics test. Sorry, I'll roll two dice. If I beat his movement characteristic, the, 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 the result essentially, the difference in the result is mortal wounds. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's go for it. We're casting on a seven and I get plus one. Oh, so I can't stop you. No, and you know what? I can't die from the peril, so I'm going to take the mortal wounds. Yeah, I would. I'm going to take them. 
Um, so yeah, so that's gone off. Um, your characteristic is six. It is indeed. We'll resolve the pair on a second. Yeah, yeah, do your spell first. So... On a nine, nine he is dead. Yeah. So, uh, nine on 2d6. Oh! So... Jeez, oh. <laughs> uh, I might as well do my mortal wounds, but that's Slay the Warlord, guys. I'm assuming he's your leader. He is not. Oh, he's not the leader? Demon Princess. Oh, is he? Good try, though. Oh, well, cool. At least we got a kill. Uh, but d3 mortal wounds on myself. Uh, I take one wound on the Nyal yeah, Stormcaller, but Huron is gone. Starting off with the Achilles, he's in 6 inch reroll range of Ragnar and Melter range. We're going to do one, two shots with this Melter and the quad into this hill route. Two shots from this Melter into that hill route. Sounds good. So we'll start with this Melter here. 10 on 3s, reroll 1s. So two hits, wounding on 3s. For two wins. Oh man. Uh, so, no saves. That's six wins. I need a two plus, I think. Show me double one. I'm rolling two, guys. It's Milta. Nope. So he is gone. Does he explode? No, nope. he does not. Quad has wasted. It will now do the last Melta on the other Hellbrit, which will just move off for you. So, <laughs> two hits. Two oh wins. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Again, Melta range. So, the first one. It's really? five wins, so a three plus he's gone. Two twos. Oh. <laughs> Does he explode? No, no. but that's two Hellbrook's gone. Next up, we're going to do one big take here. One pistol from there, because the rest of the pistols and guns have been replaced by Storm Shields, the Wolfguard. And then we have Rapid Fire, four Grey Hunters, Rapid Fire, four Grey Hunters. We're going to chuck in, uh, and this Grey Hunter here, his bolt gun as well. So that's Wolfguard, Grey Hunter, Grey Hunter, all with rerolls of one, because Ragnar, and none for him. So we have at least 18 shots. So I have 17 here, which are reroll ones. So I'll just do them first. Hitting on threes. Can you take out the twos from your Ross? Sure can. Quite a few twos, and thank goodness for Ragnar. Okay, so these are the rerolls. And then that one lonely Grey Hunter, the hero himself, add his dice to it. I don't nope. think that's going to, you know, missing wherever he's yeah. been a champ. So, yeah, the rest of them were winding on fours. So that is uh, six wins, I think. It's, it's, it's a fair amount. It's six wins, yep. uh, three up saves. Oh, no. Uh, for that's going to be one dead, two dead. Nyal is going to go next. He's going to shoot Nightwing into the possess. So D6 shots for three. We hit a two plus. Reroll re ones for the Ragnar. So reroll. That's three hits. It's strength three, so it's five to wind. What? <laughs> for three wins. I presume it's AP Dash. nothing, yeah. yeah. So I need to pat like I've got to survive this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm down to wind. one wind. <laughs> cool, I'm just gonna quickly chuck in chuck in Ragnar's bolt pistol then onto that possess. Yes. Two's to hit, reroll ones. Four's to wind. Thank nothing. Goodness. And then lastly for the Bolt guns and stuff, we'll chuck the storm bolter into it. It's clearly rapid fire. Yeah. So four shots, no rerolls, force to wind, for no wins. Last up to shoot is my Sakarin, so we're gonna split the shots, heavy bolter into the possessed, twin accelerator, auto cannon, and last cannons into that mauler fiend for big game hunter. We're just gonna start with the heavy bolter, hitting on threes, reroll ones for Ragnar. Okay. Uh, winning on threes, strength five. So two wins at minus one. Give me one field save. No. <sighs> okay, so he doesn't die. Um, I, I think you've got him in other places. Yeah, okay. Uh, last cannons then into the Muller Fiend. Show me twos. Nope. That's not twos. Uh, threes to win. For two wins, five up in time. Five up in time. Uh, I'm gonna command point It'll that. cost you two points, remember? I'll take it. Go. Oh, oh yeah. no. So you're down to two command points, so one went through. You've got eight wins at the moment. I sure do. D6 damage. Oh my so word. So you're down to two wins. Uh-huh. Then we've got the eight remaining accelerator shots. Yeah. Three's to hit. Oh. Reroll that one. Nah, I'm not gonna. No, yeah. reroll that one. You have to, because... Oh yeah, because Ragnar. Ragnar. <laughs> Uh, cocked. Oh, oh well. Um, that's a phenomenal roll. Seven hit. 
fours, two wings, I'm assuming you're toughness seven. Yeah, but you're not strength eight. Not with a cannon, I'm strength seven with this cannon. Oh, cool, fours to wind. Fours to wind. Oh my word. Now, any winding rolls of six are AP minus three, so that's straight invul, uh -huh. and those are minus one. So I just need to fill one of these. Yeah, just do the minus one then. So, what fours. Past oh. all them. Don't do this. Fives. Don't do this to me. No. Uh, so, yeah, he's, he's gonna Does maybe explode. explode. Don't uh, explode. Kill your Grey Hunter. Did I get it? No, I didn't. No, he got four. But that is a dead mother fiend. Charge time, we've got quite a few. Wolfguard into the possessed. No overwatch. No overwatch, sorry, yeah, but uh, they're definitely in. Yep. Uh, Spangear and Ulfgear, if I'm getting those names wrong, I apologise, but the Wolves and Long Ragnar into the Demon Prince. We'll look, they're in. I'm going to chuck in the two Grey Hunter units for good measure. Of course. So, first unit. They're in, and the second unit. Even without it, they're in. Going to activate the Wolf Guard first. Uh, no chance of Ross interrupting anymore with Deadlock rules in play. Yeah, I, I was saving that for the Demon Prince, but I was trying to save the Mother Fiend as well. Uh, yeah. It's not happening. So, we've got three of the Wolf Guard there have Frost Axes. One has a Frost Sword and one has a Wolf Claw, and the Wolf Claw's in the Sergeant. So we've got six Axes. Uh, there is three plus to hit. Reroll ones. That's cocked. There we go. And then reroll the one because of Ragnar. Okay, so we get five hits. It makes me strength six for frost axes. So threes to wound. So that's three wounds. It is minus two, so it'll be your possessed demon save. And it's one damage apiece. You just. The one, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Poor possessed. Activating the two Great Hunter units. I'm just going to do them all at the same time. So three from the. Uh, sorry, two attacks from one sergeant. And then we have three normal Grey Hunters, so it's five per squad, meaning in total for the two squads, ten attacks. Uh, nothing special here, guys, just normal Grey Hunters, so ten attacks, three to hit reroll ones. Take them out. We've got two rerolls here. Okay, so we get uh, eight hits. And then we're fives to wind. Sure are. For three wins on the Demon Prince. Three up saves. Lose a wound. And last to activate will be uh, Ragnar Blackmane and his two wolves. That is Svangir and Ulfgear. I think I was getting it right. Either way, six attacks from two wolves. Might as well do them first. Hitting on threes, reroll ones. Really poor. Okay. Um, let's go double check. They hit on threes, I believe they do. Yeah, the wolves are a uh, weapon skill three. So three hits, fives to wound at minus one. So one wound. Four up safe. Uh, they're one damage piece. Mm -hmm. I will save it. So I'm down to four wounds. Four wounds. Okay, Ragnar with five attacks with the Frost Fang. So we are twos to hit reroll ones. So five hits. I'm only strength five of this, so I'm fives to wound. Yeah, really, this is where I need you to finally roll badly. I'm seeing bad so far. I'm gonna use a command point to reroll, I've got four, so I'll use two command points to reroll one. Nope, no. so I can't kill you. Oh, this it's is a good. minus four, so demon save. So I can use command point. <clears throat> uh, no, I can't. No. No. Uh, no, I can't, I've not used one on the fight face. I think you're right, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Survive! No. So he's down to two wounds. So this Demon Prince is not down for the count yet. Uh, I am still diabolically strengthed, but I'm also minus one to hit. Because of Tempest Wrath. So four attacks basic, three from Elific Talons, and one for uh, thingy. Now, because you're minus one to hit, I cannot activate De Death to the False Emperor. So if I roll all sixes here, I'm gonna... Yeah, I know. Punch in the mouth. <laughs> Three set rerolling ones. Uh, so one death to false emperor denied, and uh, they actually all hit, mm -hmm. but no death to false emperor. Yep. I am strength nine at the moment. I'm assuming you're on you're on Ragnar. Oh, it's definitely on Ragnar. Yep. So two to wind. Two to wind. Uh, now any sixes are immortal wounds uh, because I've got spite. Yep. Is so that in addition or? 
that's in addition to my damage. So one of them is going to go straight on to Imagine Your Wolf. Yep, so... And then you're going to roll... Well, it's only one mortal wound. Yes, so one mortal wound onto him. Yep. He's dead. All right, he's dead, cool. Well, that the only one wound each. Is that, so that's what I'm asking, is it an addition? Oh, it's an addition. Yep, so that one wolf is dead. Yep. Uh, and then, obviously, the normal damage for that six. Yep. I'll take it on... Um, We've got save. Well, I need to do my saves first, don't I? Yeah. And then so I can put it on to the wolves. Yeah, yeah. Have so they all got the same save roll? They don't know, but they act as a unit. Yeah, you just do the first wound onto that. So, yeah, so I'll mitigate one of the dice then. Yep. Onto the last wolf. Yeah, so did he not have any save? No, well, they do have a save, but you're definitely AP above my save. AP minus two? Yeah. Okay. I six up save. Yep. Leaving me with a total in of five. Okay. Now, these are four up invul saves. Here we go. Die. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to command point one. Yeah. So if I get the command point. Did I use command point in the fight phase already? Have I? I think I did, yeah. Yeah. So then he'll be dead? Yes. Right, that's the end of Space Wolves turn three, and it was actually quite poor for me. Um, I did, well, not poor, I did a lot of shooting damage, but I lost Ragnar. Ugh. So I did get Big Game Hunter because we killed the Mother Fiend. So that makes it 12 to, to your 4 because you just got slid the Warlord roll. Sure did. I'm going to get rid of Defend number 4 because if it's over there I'll also show you. It's just out of the game. It's not happening. Where's Defend number 4? Right. Oh yeah. You're not getting that. So the score is 12 to 4. I've still got two command points left. Ross has used all his up. Sure have. Um, let's go on to Red Corsair's turn 3. So we're in a bit of a tricky zone there. David said it wasn't such a great turn, but he did kill two Hellbrutes with that Achilles. Don't forget that, that hurt unbelievably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I lost Huron as well, which is devastating, but my Dean Prince picked up Ragnar and tore him apart, <laughs> which was awesome. Uh, it's tricky, I've still got my Dean Prince. I could really damage these Grey Hunters. I've got my Obliterators, I do plan to move back with them and do some stuff. I really need my Dean Prince to suffer no damage and my Obliterators to cause much damage. Let's see what my cards are. So I've still got some of my cards from last time. Psychological Warfare, which was a turn too late. Advance, uh, which you yeah, might get this turn. Witch Hunter, maybe, and Claim and Despoil. Sco score D3 if I control an objective marker that was controlled by your opponent last turn. David only has one, which is with Nial. I can't really get to it. I don't think there's a viable option at the moment. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to move and try and cause untold amount of havoc. So I finished my movement there. Cultists have advanced forward. Basically now I do have the, I think, advanced tactical objective. Yep. I'm out of my deployment zone finally, so I'll get a point. Woo! Obliterators have moved back. Just give me some options there. And these obliterators move forward because I want to target the Scaran Battle Tank. I always love killing that if I get a chance. And that lone grey hunter, come on, charge me. I will take the Overwatch. He's around there somewhere. He is <laughs> somewhere, but he's been an absolute hero of denial. Uh, with that, let's go into the Psychic Phase. Dean Prince is going to go into the Psychic Phase. going to cast Diabolic Strength on himself. Needing a six. Don't peril because I'll cry. Oh, so close. Uh, you need a double six. Uh, no, I don't. No, you need an 11. Because I can get I get plus one to my denies along with a reroll here. Don't deny this as well. So I need a five and a six. Don't deny this as well. Well, you're not getting it with that one. No. I'm just going to automatically go straight to the reroll because I yeah, won't yeah. get it. So sure, sure, sure. reroll. Oh. It's so close. So close. Six and a four. So these obliterators putting all their assault shots into the scan. Let's find out what their stats are. They are strength 6 at the moment, plus d3. 4, strength 9. Nice. nice. AP. Minus 3. Mm -hmm. Damage. Show me the same. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so it's going to be 12 shots hitting on 3s. I've lost the dice. Give me a sense. Go. Hit on 3s. This one wind failed to hit. Uh, yeah. So you go, that was awesome though. I'm going to be threes to wind you though. Mm -hmm. For all of them. Uh, cool. It's only Put me one. To six up save though. Six up save. Only one damage though. So I ignore one of them. So that's uh, seven wounds on this Cadden. 
Uh, I'm down to, I think, down to three. And this obliterator unit next, on to these uh, wolf guards. Yep. I do have storm shields and I infamously hate them. So let's find out these stats. Strength 6, plus d3. So strength 7, no cool. ideal. Uh, AP, this really doesn't matter. Oh man. Okay, AP minus 3. <laughs> this doesn't matter either, really. Oh man. Cool. There was a strength when you needed. The strength I needed. 3's to hit. Uh, yeah, okay. That's cool. Three's to wound. Three's to wound indeed. Uh, even if it was like uh, an extra strength, it would have mattered. Cool, that's fine. They all wound. Gonna be. Now, how many are they all armed with storm shields? Four of them are armed with storm shields. So, do you want to resolve them first? Yeah, so do you need to do four at a time then? Um, Show me ones and twos. Oh no. Oh. So, two are dead so far. I've still got two storm shields left and three to go. So. Oh no, but there's one storm shield left. Okay, so it's one guy left and a storm shield. It's good to activate my demon prince, obviously, because it's the only thing I can. Uh, I'm diabolic diabolically strength, so I've got eight attacks. However, I am still Tempest Wrath, so a minus one to it, which means I can activate Death to the False Emperor. So I'm going to put four attacks into these guys and four into the other unit. Cool. So three to it, rerolling the ones. Nailed it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just resolve these guys first. Yeah, go for it, huh? And twos to wounds, because I am diabolical strength. So I'll be three wounds, minus two APs, five up save. Mm -hmm. So two Grey Hunters, so was this squad here you said? Uh, it was this one. First. That one? Yeah. So two Grey Hunters here are dead. I'll leave the Sergeant, obviously. Yeah, I didn't roll any sixes to wounds, so no mortal wounds. I'll leave the Sergeant, David. Uh, cool, yep. Four attacks on the other one, three stout, re rolling ones. Ooh. Okay, three hits, two is to wounds, any sixes are mortal wounds. So thank goodness for Diabolic Strength. Mm -hmm. uh, five up save, isn't it? Sure is. That's cooked. So two marines from each squad have died, essentially. So me to attack back, two sergeants, two grey hunters, I know it's two squads, so it's a total of six attacks, hitting on threes, no rerolls anymore. Okay, wounding on fives. So two wins. Don't I can survive this. Go for it. I can survive this. I can, can survive this. You can. So only one morale check to make, as both those units have sergeants. They've not lost enough to cause morale, but we did lose three wolf guard. So on a six, I will lose another wolf guard. Nope. So that's the end of Red Corsair's turn three. You know what? Not bad. This demon prince is taking names. Uh, you know, really, really love his sort of loadout, turn folk apart. I think the wolf guard have to come and deal with that. I think so. Damage this can quite effectively. If I'd only got damage two, it would have been dead. Uh, but tragically, that did not happen. Uh, you know what? I'm causing quite a bit of damage to your troops, but the danger is you've still got Achilles and you've still got Nyal. I got advance. I've now got my cultist outside my deployment zone. Victory mm -hmm. point. And Psychological Warfare, I'm going to burn because it was one turn too late. Mm -hmm. I'm going to forget forever, be unhappy about that. With that, let's go on to Space Wolves, turn four. Right, battle round four. I've got two command points left. The score is 12 to 5 in favour of the Space Wolves. If we can kill the Demon Prince, I think it's game. Yeah. So we're going to focus on that. Um, with that, guys, I'm going to crack on and get some new cards. So I've drawn my new cards, but it's worth mentioning I actually claimed that then Ross has turned defend three with Yal. So that brings the score 14 to 5, and I can draw three new cards. So we've drawn, we still had air denial, sorry, and I can draw one more card, what I'm going to say. We've got defend six, not happening, and advance, not happening. So I'm probably going to claim no extra points this turn, except for say the Warlord, if we can get it. Let's crack on with some movement. Finished off the movement, so my Rhino is just moseying on up here. Uh, if we fail to kill some Blitter Raiders, we're going to charge them. Achilles has came up to kill the Blitter Raiders. Uh, round here, we've got a Wolf Guard, Nial, and everyone else crowding around the Demon Prince. Um, I've also moved up my, sorry, kept my Sakaar where it is. And my other Grey Hunter over here, I actually kept him where he is as well. Don't really care anymore, he's just looking at the Blitter Raiders going. He's been a hero. Hiding, bro. Of denial. 
Um, so guys, let's go into Psychic. So Niall is going to start by casting Smite. Okay. Go into Demon Prince. Okay. Um, no point in casting Tempest Wrath because if he's not there to be cast it on, let's not waste our time. Sure, sure, sure. So go with Smite first of all. I get plus one to this. Show me double one. What did I give? Got it on an eight. On an eight. So nine. That's fine. I'm going to so, attempt to try and stop it. Show me a ten. Uh, nailed it with double six. So you stopped it. Oh, okay, oh. Um, I'm going to Tempest Wrath then. Yeah, that's fair. So Tempest Wrath on to the Demon Prince. Uh, we don't get it even with a plus one. Is it worth the reroll? I'd say no. I'd say I'm going to gamble it. Okay. Nah, I'm not. I'm kidding on. Okay. We're going to save that for the Wounding Rolls. Into that shooting phase, Achilles into these Obliterators. We're going to use the Strength 8 rounds from the Quad Launcher. So four shots, hitting on threes because of power of the machine spirit. Oh, um, this is your last command points. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. So yeah. two have gone through, it's twos to wound because I'm strength eight. Yep. So that's two wound, Ross. Oh, it's minus two, so it puts you to a four up save. Minus two, so four up save, yeah. Is mm -hmm. it how many wounds, two? It's three damage a piece. Oh man. Uh, one's dead. Two's dead. Oh. And then we've got four multi-melter shots. Yeah. We're in melter range. So uh, threes. What? <laughs> Twos. It's five up in balls. Uh, yes. Uh, on all four. Yeah, it's well, only one guy left. Yeah. Remember. Oh well. Uh, well. Do you want to roll damage just for? So he's dead. He's dead. You gotta do it three more times. Might as well just see eh? He's dead. So we've caused nine so far. He's dead. Make that wants, thirteen. That wipe the unit itself, and that. So we've got seventeen wounds. Yeah. Cool. Stormbolts are from that rhino on those cultists. Four shots. For three hits. For one wound, six up save. Show me a six. One no. cultist dies. I'll just quickly. I'm going to just do this. Okay. He's going to rapid fire these guys. Is he? Yeah, he is. Why not just pick shots off? Well, he can't shoot as well. He can wound. Give me a one roll of one. No, well, he's, he's been worth it anyway. So Karen's going to shoot all his payload into the remaining three obliterators. We are now hitting on four plus though, because I'm down to three wounds. So, me and Ross were just talking about that. Yeah, we were like, oh, it's three wounds, got 14 wounds normally, it should be hitting on fives. No, you only reach lowest efficiency at one or two wounds. Yeah. How? But that's how it is. So, um, <laughs> two last cannons hitting on fours. Well, there's two oh, hits. Oh, what? Uh, winding on twos. Oh, there's two wins straight to five up pinball. Five up pinball. Oh no. no. Uh, do your damage first so one. Three first one. Dead. Oh, and the other one won't really matter. I'm using my last two command points. Are you? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, <laughs> some other command points, and then the last one's mitigated, so one dies. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do the heavy bolter next. Yeah. Three shots and on fours for one hit. Winning on threes. It's we a wind. Win. Oh yeah, winning on threes, yeah, yeah. Two plus, uh, three plus save. Yep. Nice. Cool. And then we've got, um, there's eight here, twin accelerator auto cannon shots. Head on fours. Really? Two misses. Winding on threes. Six is at AP3. So one's at AP3 and one normal wind at minus one. So three plus save. Nice, really needed it this time. Uh, five up. Five up. Oh. So one player was down by two wounds. Um, we always forget this, but I'm not gonna. I've got four bolt pistols into that demon you prince. You finished this demon prince with pistols. Well, I'm not gonna, I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, two hit. Fives. For one wound. Yeah. Three plus save. He's nailed it. it. Just. Charge time. Nyal and Wolfguard can't really fail, so Wolfguard. They're in, Nyal, they're in. So I activate my Wolf Guard first. I've got one guy with uh, the Frost Sword, so that's two attacks. Hitting on a three plus. Okay, and we are... I know, I think I do have one command point left, by the way. Okay, but it's double to... Yeah, I see, well, I mean, that's, I've got two command points, so I can do one reroll. Okay. Uh, should I do it on him? Yeah, we're going to use that. Might as well use it. Okay. Okay, so two go through. 
It's fives to window. Yeah. Okay, one goes through. Mm -hmm. It's straight to your end, Volks. It's minus three. Okay, I'm down to one wound. Okay, and we've got the Wolf Claw from the Wolf Guard uh, pack leader. Mm -hmm. He's only got one Wolf Claw, so it's no additional attacks. So this is threes to hit. It's fives to wound, but I get to reroll these failed wounds. Okay. Mm. I've got to move on to Nyal. Right, Nyal, come on. You can do it. Be the hero that the specials need today. So three attacks with the staff of the Stormcaller heading on twos. Good start. We wound on fours because I'm plus two strength, so fours to wound. <gasps> we get two. It was uh -huh. minus one to your save. If you get one failed save, he's gone. Oh, you're still kicking about. So I'm just going to activate quickly a marine squad. Yeah. So two from the sergeant, one from one guy, because other squad won't activate just yet. Yeah, yeah. So uh, three attacks, hitting on threes. Winding on fives. For oh two wins. Give me a one or a two. Come on. We oh, got it. You got it. So slay the warlord and the demon prince is down. So end of battle round four, turn one for the Space Wolves, we got the Demon Prince. So that's Slay the Warlord, bringing the score 15 to five. I claim no objectives, I'm not gonna discard any, because Ross? Yeah, I'm gonna call it, David. Yeah, if you'd if that Demon Prince had kept kicking, you know, I'd maybe stay on for some fun with two obliterators and some cultists. Not today, and you've got that Achilles, which uh, I can't take. So Ross, good game. Yep. And, uh, Let's let you know our thoughts. Well, David, that was a uh, that was an interesting game. It was toing and froing. Yeah, I've got to say straight off the bat that Grey Hunter was a hero. He's getting a name. He's getting a name. Not for the fact he probably killed anything, but the fact that he just denied everything. Yeah. You know, he held a flank on his own. He held it. Basically, that one guy held a flank on his own. It really did cause my positioning to get absolutely, uh, absolutely murdered. So well done him, and he didn't yeah. die, no, even though I tried to flame him with Huron. <laughs> Not happening. Not happening. Fair enough. Uh, it was good. I got to use a few new units for Space Wolves. So mm -hmm. we Space Wolves got to use our Sagarin, which was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a mid-range effectiveness, I'd say. Uh, Achilles was great. Yep. So I've already yes. learned that from using it against poor Rob and his admin. Uh -huh. Fist, it's great. It's situational, though. Mm. If your opponent can dance around it and shoot it from long range, You've got it, but as soon as you have to come close, it's got the firepower to just light things up. Um, you have to be very careful of units that are really fast. Yeah. You know, really fast units, if they manage to catch that... that Elder. You know, Elder. Uh, I was thinking sort of Death Company when they do their mm, thing. Yeah. Well did that to me, which was devastating. Yeah. Same, same weakness as any Land Raider. If you catch it, it's dead, mm. but otherwise it's got a really powerful arsenal. Oh, yeah. Um, I was... I was actually not impressed with Ragnar. I went into this going, yeah, we're gonna use Ragnar Blackmane. Yeah, yeah. We've got a cool conversion model for him. This'll be awesome. Nah, he just got ripped to bits. He did, and uh, I loved my Dean Prince ripping him to bits. It was uh, absolutely wonderful. I always enjoy when Dean Prince chalks up a, a special character. Yeah, Ragnar sent him flying. Yeah, yeah, I think I took Cypher with that same build as well. It was awesome. Although your Demon Prince was a little bit bloodlusty with that um, exploding rhino. Yeah, no, my Demon Princes have a tendency to cause a little bit too much damage to themselves on occasions. Uh, but he, got, he killed Ragnar, so what can you expect? Uh, He's got to do stuff sometimes, you know. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, that was an interesting fight. Good to see Space Wolves, you know, bring yeah. the hammer back on the channel. We were, they were kind of losing for a wee while there, so that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Check us out in the descriptions below on our Facebook page for the updates that myself, Will, and just general community updates are up to for the channel. It also has a link there for our Patreon page if you guys wish to become a patron of the channel, help support us to grow and provide you better content and uh, there's some awesome rewards to go with that. But uh, yeah, with that guys, I think we can also see you in another Tabletop Assault Battle Report.